All right, fight lovers, uh, let's talk fight stances today and uh, where I think you should start and the things that I think you should uh, play with. Because I think everything that starts and finishes with good footwork and good positioning. So the way you stand for mixed martial arts, uh, boxing and Thai boxing uh, might be a little bit different. Uh, Thai boxing will also allow you to play with, with boxing stances and then more traditional Thai boxing stances depending on your positioning and mixed martial arts obviously is going to allow you to kind of like move fluidly through those or maybe you'll choose something like halfway in, in between so we'll, we'll start off first uh, with some uh, a boxing stance and then we'll move from there so if you were to go feet a little bit outside your shoulders and pull your foot back in, in a straight line this would be a beginner stance when we're boxing, if you can then turn your toes, I can stand a little bit more bladed to my opponent. So even though it looks like I'm side on, if I was to switch my feet, you can see it's still very square, okay? A nice long stance is good for boxing. It'll allow me to lean my head forward, lean my head back, but still when I'm square, be able to slip with really good balance. Whereas if you were just, if you're too concentrated about being, being side on, I now lose the ability to slip. Okay, so again, watch again. It's important that you set yourself upright from the beginning, a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart, pull your foot back, and then I'm just gonna turn my lead toes towards. The added bonus of this is when I'm boxing now, to get power into that hook, my knee moves more freely to turn my hips without having to over-exaggerate the turn for the toe. Now, this is where I'm gonna link it to the tie boxing because often, uh, a boxing enthusiast might watch somebody tie boxing and watch them turn their, their hook or an MMA fighter and watch them over rotate their toe and not what, know why they're doing it. The reason they're doing it is because they are probably started with their toes slightly pointing to the outside, sitting back on their foot so they can check and then when they throw their hook to be able to get the knee turn when I don't have my toes already turned, okay, involves a little bit of practice. So when they're shadow boxing, often they're practicing switching that, okay? So, that segues us nice to the Thai boxing stand and how that should look. A Little bit different from boxing, but we're still gonna start off a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, pull our foot back, and now my back toes and my front toes are gonna slightly turn out and I'm gonna sink down on that back leg. This allows me to use my push kicks easy and check easily on both sides, okay, with my tire boxing stance. So you can see now my toes are in the opposite direction of they work to my boxing stance here. This makes it very easy to check the outside leg kicks because I'm sitting down on this back foot. Turning for a lead side cross check is also easy and lifting my back leg to check is also easy. So again, very different from that boxing stance, but there's a similarity here that's real important. We went feet shoulder width apart, pulled back, and now we made sure that we had a nice stance to begin with. Okay, so how does this fit into mixed martial arts? Well, I think somewhere in between is a good version, but you can also flow through those things. So if you imagine a wrestling stance is here, and I'm real low over the top of my lead foot, my head's forward, my lead arm's down and this is a wrestling stance, then when I come back up to a boxing style stance, okay, it's not too different from the wrestling stance, okay? If I'm more of a striker, or you'll notice this in the, in the UFC, if they're a little bit more of a, a striker, then they might be over that back foot, a little bit long, sunk down, so now I can deal with the wrestlers, Okay, because my elbows are down, my hands are a little bit lower, I'm low like a boxing stance, but I've still got my legs out to check and do those things and sprawl at the same time. So it's gonna be somewhere in between, which is nice. So if you're a beginner starting in boxing, Thai boxing, or mixed martial arts, the best thing you could do is go feet shoulder width apart, point forward and be somewhere in the middle. If you're here, it's a great start, okay? My advice to you is, when you're boxing, over-exaggerate your boxing stance. When you're tie boxing, over-exaggerate your tie boxing stance. And when you're playing with MMA, see if you can move fluidly 
between them or adjust your stance uh, to the strategy that you're trying to work on that day. Okay, so get out there, fix those feet, simple adjustments. What's the same about them is often more important than what's different about them.